Now then, welcome back to VisoCraft. And today I'm going to tackle this blade spawner. I'm going to box it in and sort it out. Um, this, <laughs> this arrow, it stayed there. It has not despawned in all the time since it was shot. Don't know what's wrong with it, but I decided to leave it there because it's cool. Um, one thing I want to do before I leave this time around is I want to put a bucket of water down just here. Just so that I've got some water to pop out into when I need to. Um, we're going to fill the place with cobblestone. I'm going to try and fight my way in. Um, get myself sorted. And try not to get myself killed on the way either. So, excuse the noise, folks. But I've got to work my way around here. Oh, God. Great start. Thank you. Stop killing me already. Okay. Let's see what I can do here. We've got to do it carefully. I can't just rush in there, obviously. There's uh, far too many blazes to be rushing in there without thinking. Um, and currently, <laughs> I've got someone asking me a question. Currently, making safe a blaze spawner and recording. Thank you. Busy. Busy right now. Right, so. We're... Uh oh. You can die. Hang on. I'll hit you with a piece of steak. How about that? Oh, you would catch me on fire just as I was doing that, wouldn't you? Right. So far, we're okay. We're okay. I could take a bit of flaming damage. And sucker. Oh, that got a few blocks in, that's good. Um, the idea is to seal it up as best as I possibly can while uh, getting as little damage as possible as well. Basically working my way up to it. When I can see underneath it, it's fine. We're here. Um, and I need to be able to see underneath it to be able to block it off properly. They can't spawn down if they haven't got the space. So I'm trying to deny them the space to spawn rather than just uh, lighting the place up. So if you light the place up you also get the problem that they may still be able to spawn. Aha! Get off me! I'll fail. Okay, that was a gas then. Okay. I didn't really want the black gas spawning and me killing things and all sorts, man! What am I doing here? Whoa. Okay. Um. Okay, well that'll do for now. Let's get this sorted. Getting there. We're getting there. Um, this is basically all I'm doing right now. There, please. Oh, get out of my face then. You leave me alone. Put that there then. Okay. Um. Yeah, I might uh, just take a cut because I'm not really in the mood for chatting right now. Um, I will get this sorted. I will get it sealed off so they can't get to me. Look who paid me a visit while I was here. Um. Yeah, you guys. You can stay right where you are. 
Thank you. <laughs> Get with my withers. Oh. Do not. Oh, no. He withered me. I should be okay. I should be safe. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. I am not keen on this situation. Okay. I'm, uh, I'm kind of here getting things finished up. Kind of okay, I think. I've uh, blocked it in a lot. I can still hear a lot of them. So I decided I'm going to go and have a quick walk about. I've nearly, nearly completed this level here. This bit is so much more difficult, though. Because I keep losing blocks down there like that. For a start. And... Trying to uh, clean it up as I go. Now uh, you're supposed to leave a space of three from the spawner clear in all directions, so I'm trying to get that sorted. And while I'm doing that, you see, I'm making sure that I've got all of the spawning spaces filled all the way up there. So I'm making sure that inside this nether brick, everything is filled for three blocks up so that I'll stop all the spawning. The only trouble is, I'm hanging over the edge of a lava lake. Yeah, I know. I do pick them, I know. But, it's not impossible. It may feel slightly impossible sometimes, but it's definitely not impossible. Uh, who said it was going to be uh, easy, eh? Who said this season of VisoCraft was going to be easy? And uh, I don't know uh, who on this server is going to be any good at doing these sort of things, so I reckon I've got to get on with it myself right now. Uh, if it was a, a case of being on another server, like the Madlands, I may have known who to say, Oh look, i got a blaze spawner. Do you fancy... Uh, sorting it out for me. Uh, I hate having to use my arrows up. Okay, you. Right, uh, I want to put that in there. Building this up here now. Whew. We're getting there, we're getting there. Um, I've only got five bits of cobble left. I've literally used all my cobble so far on this only this little bit here and I still really got to go one block further across as well uh, but I think I'm about ready now to start filling in the final piece like there it needs filling in but I also need to uh, fill that section in which is hard work. And that's. Oh, shoot. That's where they can spawn. Look. Get out of my face. I can kill you. Now that's the only place they can spawn. Makes it a bit more difficult to block it off. Oh, wait a minute. That's supposed to be the outer wall as well. There we go. Yeah, I've just done that one. See, it's slow going. But they can't spawn on this level. They can't spawn below. They spawn in that one and the one above it. And then the two above that. Four blocks up like that. So, I'm doing uh, three up there. Blocking them in. I think I'm, because I'm short, I'm going to go and get some more nether rack, I think. And uh, see what I can get from around this part, these parts. Uh, see if I can also have a look at it on the top as well. See if there's anything worth looking at on the top of it. It's a bit quieter down this way, at least. Let's have a quick munch. I'm going to go and see what I've got up here. I apologise if it's dark. Okay, nice nether, nice nether. Um,
look at that. I found I got another one. This one not so close though. So I can spam torches a little bit better to slow their progress down. And show you a little bit more about what I'm actually trying to achieve downstairs. Uh, I don't know how close this is to the other one. But I know it's a dang sight safer to get sorted up here. So, take all this out and see if I can uh, fight any off that may be coming at me. Well, let's see if we can do something about it. Uh oh, uh oh. Slows their progress down, but it doesn't stop their progress. Right, so. The idea here is that for those two blocks, they cannot spawn. And I've got to do that for three out from them. Two, three, out. And then that one is going to be two, three. So for those three blocks, that's the spawning space covered for there. My only trouble is I've got to get down there as well. So if I fill in from three blocks away, it's one, two, three blocks away, you see. I know that they can't get out anywhere. So let's just fill this all in with netherrack and just uh, clean the place up a bit so that they can't spawn into this corner at least. Uh, if it wasn't for the difficult location I was in with the other one, it would have been uh, just as simple, I think. But this one, I'm not hanging over lava, so it feels, uh, feels a lot easier. I'm sure it looks a lot easier as well. As you can see from my hotbar and the inventory, uh, I've been doing quite a lot in the nether. So much so that I had to get my 30th level enchants on the go. Uh, got a efficiency 4 on breaking 3. And my um, mine has got bigger and bigger. I've started uh, building a perimeter uh, area around the outside like off into that direction and around and back down this way and I'm going to come across here and cause all of the farmstead area to have its own strip mine underneath and I'll probably strip mine that out at a later date uh, but that's uh, slightly different resources that I'm after in there I'm after stripping out the inside of the mountains it's been a couple of days now uh, I couldn't get it all done in one go that arrow is still there and uh, my ender nether my nether and my uh, nether success is uh, looking good I'm pleased with it now oh fappy fap and his fappy fap mates oh fappy fap how you doing get away fappy fap um, yeah I'm right out on the edge of this fortress now Fairly close, I suppose. Pretty close, pretty close. I may as well get my, this as my XP farm for a bit, eh? Can actually just kill a load of blazes for XP, I know that. Um, but I haven't got the farm set up yet, so I'll just clean all these guys up so I can have a nice, quiet recording. Come on. Thank you. And goodbye. Uh oh, he saw me. And I didn't have put the blocks on the bar. Right. Now. What are we going to do with it? Um, oh, come on, do me a favour. Where do you fire from? Uh, yeah, what are we going to do with this blaze farm? How are we going to make the blaze farm? Well, there's some classic ways to make a blaze farm. And there's some new ways to make a blaze farm. As you probably noticed from episode 2, uh, blazes go through portals. So, if they go through portals, then I'm thinking of making a portal trap here instead of a load of redstone and pistons. Uh, one, because I don't have the slimes to make a piston trap yet. And two, I'd like to send them through to the overworld. I think that might be a cool plan. So... Uh, what I've got to do is go and get a load of nether, not a nether rack, um, obsidian. 
get a load of obsidian, but I'm just figuring out what sort of size I want it to be. And also, I've smelted up some uh, stone and some ice, um, some glass to try and figure all that out. Um, but I'm working on it. I'm thinking that as this is the spawning area up to there, uh, if I build nether portals along this square of nether brick at the minute, which should also be that one there, yeah, that ne nether brick square there, then they'll spawn in this area and float out. If I'm standing somewhere around out there, maybe they'll come straight towards me. Um, but I don't know. I don't know for sure whether that's going to be too big or just big enough. So I may put a second run of portals down the middle so that there's spawning in there, spawning in around the spawner itself, uh, and then like put my nether portals around here. So I've got an another portal section there and another portal section there. So if they spawn in these gaps in between, then they go either way and they're going to get pushed into a portal. And all these portals should go back to the main portal, in theory. I don't think they can get me through half slabs. Shall we see? They can see me. Uh, well, they're not very good shots. So I want a way of looking at them to see what's going on as well, you see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if that's going to be my nether portal trap around the outside, then I could put glass on the next one out. You're not getting me, are you? Um, so I could put a nether brick there. Uh, I don't have any nether brick on me. Awesome. Stone then. How about that? Let's go stone and glass. And fortify that way. Then I can see out, but they can't get in. That could be a plan. Let me think about it some more, and I'll see if I can finish up something. I also want access out there, really, but I suppose I've got the other side of my portal I can do that with. Right, I'll be back when I've got some more ideas on what I want to do with this. I might even go into a creative world and test it out a little bit to see what I can come up with. Because at the minute it looks like rubbish. It looks like nothing. It's just a load of tat right now. Um, but of course I want to make the perfect blaze farm out of it. Uh, the other thing... I did a, a thing up here. But it go just goes out into the middle of nowhere over a lava lake. So I blocked it back off again. I was going to take it all the way up to the ceiling. So instead, I've taken this route round here and started working this up around the ceiling. So this just keeps spiral staircasing up. I could have done a ladder, but I wanted this to be something that was uh, easier to cl clamber around. And at the minute, I've managed to get all the way up there. Uh, it's not been easy though, I tell you. It's not been easy. Um, for one, let's take a look up there. Uh, I've put all of this in. I've put all of it. All of it. Because uh, this is pretty much what we've got to deal with here. Huge great big area. That's where those stairs came out. And I was like, I'm not I'm not pushing all the way up there. I'll just go straight up. So here I am going straight up. But I had gas over in this space firing at me. So I had to do this nether brick first. And now... Uh, now I'm trying to connect it all up so I've got a safe place to uh, wander around to go up into the ceiling and set a nether, nether tunnel to spawn up because I, uh, I need to be able to go back to spawn I don't know the people there but I intend to make their acquaintance and uh, get involved in what is going on at spawn but be able to make a, an easy trip back to base whenever I want to uh, I also want to get there before Christmas, so that I can uh, give them all a Christmas present. Also, 
So, that's another project that I'm working on. I will carry on with those. And I guess, really, I will call this a short episode because I have a feeling that I've got loads to do. Absolutely loads to do. And I just want to get on with it. I just want to build. It's a, it's a staircase all the way up there. Uh, maybe fancy it up a bit with... Um, stone and nether brick designs around it to make it look cool as you're going up. Maybe a diagonal pattern going up and around as you're going. Maybe bring some clay into it. I don't know. Don't know how it's going to end up, but all it is at the minute is a practical way up. And as for my uh, blaze farm, well, I don't think I need a blaze farm as much as I need a way back to spawn. And then maybe I can drag someone over to come and help me lay it out. Um, I think I've got the idea. I think I'm going to try that idea. I need to collect some obsidian from around and about the place. But really, that's it. Uh, there's no point me carrying on right now. I'm going to get loads done off camera. And I'll be back with an update later. And that arrow's still there. Love it. I spammed a load of torches around here as well, so it was a bit safer for me when I was coming out of the uh, nether. Uh, I want to get on with my farms as well. I want to make my farms. At the minute, I've got plenty of food. I'm not going to starve. But I've got plenty of wood. And my mine shaft has got plenty of resources being taken out of it. I've had a, a fair amount of diamonds and lots and lots of uh, coal and things. So it's, it's looking alright. It's looking okay. I'm quite happy with the spot I've picked. Uh, this area is going to make nice for farms or, or to make things and stuff like that in the season as we carry on in the series. Uh, but right now, my priority is to get up into the roof of the nether and dig a tunnel back to spawn. And then set up another, another nether portal over there so that uh, I can go and visit spawn from time to time. So that's it for another episode of VisoCraft.